Okay, well, um, welcome to uh, what's an amazing piece of Gilbert history. Um, I'll briefly introduce myself. I'm Jonathan Moran. I was a pupil at the school between 1978 and 1983, and I'm here with Eddie Ross. Yes, this film was made during the academic year, 1966 to 1967, which was my first year at the Gilbert School. The film was actually made by the science teacher, Ken Brooks, who was uh, very gifted in technical matters. Here we see pupils moving about the school, I think at the lower school, and yeah. this is the entrance to what was called the new lab. <laughs> I don't know when it was new. <laughs> Here we have a sixth former, I think. This is all in the lower mm. school, room 45, room 44. And that was the old back of the old canteen on the left the there, wasn't canteen, it? Yeah. It contained the old canteen. Now, this is the Roman wall, mm. probably about the only school in England <laughs> that had a Roman wall. And this is a remarkable photo mm. of <coughs> Balkan Hill as it was yeah. before it was modernised and houses were on both sides. I've never seen footage like this before. I never even knew Balkan Hill when it looked like that. Right. You didn't have traffic rushing up <laughs> and down all the time. Yeah. And there's the old sign and the hole in the wall. Mm. And this is yeah. the, the pub at the top of the, the top of Balkan Hill. And this is Colchester's oldest recorded yeah. town. I think they call it a city now, I'm not sure. They're trying, yeah. I think, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so in 1953, there are two other institutions. Uh, one was the girls' high school, mm -hmm. and the other was the art school. Yeah, and I think they've got the signage for both of those yeah. Yeah. here, yeah. Yes, apparently by the time they reached the pub, it was almost time to get back again to work. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was well before my time. Yeah, I think there were there were um, there was a venue in the high street that they used uh, yes. around this time yes. as well. I'm not too sure about this building. I don't know if I recognise quite where it is, but that may have been the the pub up the town. Be. I don't know. Now this is definitely the, the needlework bungalows, <laughs> the Smith. And another lady, mm. yeah. Miss Smith was a head of the law school. Mm. This, I think, is the cotton pie. Mm. And that was the entrance to the lower school, wasn't it? And there it? was Mr. Mick Rouse. Ah. A very... <laughs> <laughs> very briefly <laughs> passing through the frame, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Rouse was a remarkable teacher of history and also a fanatical <laughs> cricket enthusiast. Mm. This is the bungalow which is occupied by Mr. Dick Askew who mm -hmm. taught commerce and business studies and economics. Mm -hmm. This is the large hall which had a flat roof which regularly leaked <laughs> but it could be used for productions, for assemblies <laughs> and is still there today. This is a scene from the library mm -hmm. which was on the ground floor where the present refectory is mm -hmm. situated. And they seem to have tried to capture a little bit of school life, haven't they, on some of this footage? Yeah. Doing what they're supposed to do, studying. Mm. Not screen in sight. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the uh, students came from all over North East Essex and there was a lot of travel by bus. Mm. But there were no traffic jams in those days. <laughs> And also in those days, Colchester had a good bus station. <laughs> it did. <laughs> These amazing old buses. Goodness. They are queuing for the bus. Mm. Yeah, and this is the site now of the new visual arts <clears throat> centre, isn't it? Uh, basically in Colchester. That's, uh, that's what replaced it. Good to see that they acquired growth, <laughs> knowledge and responsibility. I'm sure that happened in my case. But, uh... <laughs> this is North Hill and I think this is 
newcomers, yeah. These are students or pupils who are new to the school, so they're not wearing uniform at the moment. This is the day of introduction. Mm. And they're all very well behaved. <laughs> the old school gates there, it's different, isn't it? No problem with parking for teachers <laughs> in those days. They're going up. So it's good that they were given a chance to get used to the school yeah. before they actually arrived. I remember having that opportunity, yeah. actually. Yeah. And this must be a prefect yeah. who is helping to introduce them to the school, make them feel at home. Mm. Probably give them a guided tour, I would have thought. Right, yes. Mm. This is going up the steps. Oh yeah, this is and going up the steps to the teacher's entrance, isn't it? I th yes. think. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, there we go. On the yeah. balcony, mm. outside what is now the library, mm. which is closed off that door. Yeah. It's a fire escape nowadays. And you can see and the lower school here, can't yes, you? Yes, the lower school, right down. Yeah. On the tennis court. Needlework bungalow, <laughs> tennis courts. And that's to the side of the upper paddock, yes. isn't it, I think? Yeah, because yes. that's the, the hall in front that's of us, isn't hall, it? Yeah. Yes, that is right. And this is a class outside in good weather. <laughs> it, uh, that was the observatory there, yes, wasn't it? Yeah. There was a short clip of the observatory, which was built by Mr Ron Denham, mainly, and mm. Stan Burris. Mm. Mm. We're into some lessons now. Yes. The chap on the right mm. seems largely unmoved yes. by everything that's going on, doesn't that's he? Right. I see. And now these two girls I remember, was Caroline oh. Nielsen in the background and Anne Coles. Right. And they were in 1G, which was my <laughs> original form, so I'm really wow. pleased to see them. Goodness. Oh. So this, they'd been at the school a couple of years at this point, perhaps or so, a year or so at 67. Yes, they? that's right. They, they were in their first year, ah, 66 right. to 67. Yeah. I don't recognise mm -hmm. that lady there. I think this lady is taking dinner money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a school dinner cost a shilling, if I remember rightly, <laughs> which is... Yes, it looks like that. <laughs> that lady used to teach history. I Did can't she? remember what her name is. No. And this is the the canteen. Mm. Which would all been in the lower school, uh, wouldn't it, uh, still? Yeah. Yes, in the lower school. And there was a separate canteen for staff. Right. <laughs> Yes, I don't remember staff ever eating this. Yeah, yeah. Pizza pie. Yeah. Pizza pie, I've never heard of that before. This is Mr. Cole. Mm -hmm. A strong personality, <laughs> if we put it that way. This is probably the choir. Mm -hmm. Art lessons outside. Yeah. yeah. The art teachers were Mr. Roy Butcher. Mm -hmm. And Mrs. Went. Right. I think it's Mr. Allenson is my time. Oh, yes, he off. came later. He yes. did, yeah. I'm not sure mm. where that is. This must be somewhere down the lower school. This yeah. is seen from the metal work room. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Stan Burroughs, he was, came from Lancashire, and he, did, he was a precision engineer was he? before he took up... Uh, History. Mm -hmm. He took up metal work before he took up teaching. <laughs> now, the other teacher, metal work teacher at that mm. time, was Mr. Andy Slavell. Okay. And I think this is Mr. Slavell at the moment. Yes, I think this is Mr. Slavell. I'm right. not absolutely sure. Yeah. Goodness. Now we're into needlework again. Yes. Miss Smith. Mm. 
will live to the ripe old age of 96. Did she? Yes. Oh. Head of law school. Mm. Yes, I remember. few shots to make it clear that everyone's very <laughs> industrious and hard at work. Yes. <laughs> is this technical drawing? I don't know. Is it look like that was. This looks like a, a more ordinary class. Yeah. No, no, I think it is. There, I know where that is. That is one of the technical drawing uh, rooms mm. on the ground floor yes. in the old building. Yeah, I recognise it. Designed by Norman Kerr. Right. Uh, and this is the sheep and rat, start, sheep and start in Cheapen Road, yeah. then they went up onto a hilly field right. and came back again. <laughs> <laughs> and these are the tennis courts, aren't they, again? These are the tennis courts, right. And, uh, and I do not, I've, we've watched this, I do not know what they're playing here. I don't know if it is <laughs> basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like some version of American football, but... <laughs> Now this, uh, twice a week, mm. the school went to an assembly mm. in, the ch in St. Peter's Church and it was quite a difficult job stopping the traffic <laughs> and getting the uh, children across. Mm. And then they went in there and they sang twice a week mm. and you had some troublemakers like James Chamley. He was the <laughs> singing out of tune deliberately. <laughs> and Examinations took place mainly in the small hall and in the large hall, eh, which also was used as a gymnasium. Just seeing that sign brings yeah. back feelings of terror. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. There were lots of clubs. Mm. Mr. Dick Askew ran archaeology, mm. coin collecting and stamp collecting. Wow. And this is, looks like preparation for a cycle run. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Where they went, I cannot imagine, but you couldn't do it today for health no, and safety. You couldn't. I had a feeling looking at the footage earlier that it might be Moulden, but I don't know. It was just a, a, sna yeah. a snatch of the road that looked familiar, yes. but it, it, who knows. They also did a charity walk from ah. Colchester to Clacton, wow. which certainly would be impossible <laughs> nowadays completely. with the volume of traffic. And there's mechanised. I did, it was something farm that farm, came yes. up, but it was only on the it screen from a day's outing to a farm. Yeah, yeah. But they've obviously been given all sorts of tasks to do. I was going to say, yeah, uh, a, a sheet to complete. Now, this is quite remarkable. This must mm. have been a school outing to France. Mm. By plane. <laughs> and normally in the old days they took a coach with them and mm. went from place to place. So this was very progressive. <laughs> and it's remarkable that they are wearing school <laughs> uniform on an outing to Paris. <laughs> and here they are in Paris, in yeah. the Bouquinist. And walking about in the city. <laughs> I think this trip must have been run by Miss Wendy Rawlingson. Mm. And obviously Ken Brooks went with them. Here they are in Montmartre with the artists. Mm -hmm. And I think it was Wendy Rawlingson who was actually featured in that uh, article, wasn't it, about the trip to France that went wrong. Uh, That's right, the, they went in a minibus. And, <laughs> and she had to go all the way back and collect it. Now here's she? the Champs Elysees. Yeah. And the Arc de Triomphe yeah. in the background, built to celebrate Napoleon's victories. Yeah. And heavy volume of traffic oh, even in those days. This is 1960s, and look at those cars, oh, goodness yeah. me. And there's the Tour Eiffel in the background. I don't know whether they went up to the top or not. Mm. A lot of thought went into preparing this for, for Mr. Sprayson because that's who yeah. it was done for, wasn't it? it was, yes, yes. It was his farewell gift, and they really did record a huge amount of coverage of the life of the school oh, and, right. and, and another trip. <laughs> There's another trip to the Alps. Mm. I don't know whether it was French Alps or Italian Alps, mm. but uh, they've got some of the equipment, but some of <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. Oh, somebody with a sense of humor. <laughs> Teacher probably told them to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. This looks close to home, doesn't it? Looks like a beach or somewhere, isn't it? Yes. That could have been a geography trip. Yeah, yeah a field trip or something, yeah. And this is archaeology. Mm. And a lot of it was done near the Medway huts, mm. on the, near the top paddy. I don't think they'd use shovels of that size <laughs> nowadays. No, it's <laughs> delicate little <laughs> trowels, but not back then. <laughs> But Dick Askew was very keen on that, and he had a large supply of mm. pots and bits of crockery which he dug up. Mm. Is that him? No, that's, oh. I don't know who that is. Art club. Hmm. That stuff's out of the kiln, I suppose, is it? Ah, yes, pots. there was a pottery room, yes, yeah. that's right. That wasn't Roman. No. <laughs> <laughs> This is art as well, isn't it? Definitely. Yes. It really is yeah. like just peering back in time, isn't it? Time, Looking at yes. this, it's yes. amazing. Interestingly enough, the art room today at the Sixth Form College is more or less as it was. Yes. It is incredible. When you it's walk in, it you time. really yeah. wouldn't have known that it had changed. That I think they've divided the room slightly. Yeah. And this was a project, wasn't it? Yes, this was a project. It was built in the metalwork room, supervised by Stan Burroughs. Mm. And th- there was a, a group associated with the Red Cross, <laughs> and they did first aid. And then these are all the different clubs and stuff, aren't they? And uh, com- well, SA competition, is that? Yeah. The Red Chemistry. Crop. Red Cross group was supervised by Mrs. Hockney. Was it? Yeah. yeah. And this is in the, the large hall, isn't it? I think this I is think to do so, with yeah. the stage and stage preparation of, lighting, of everything. Yes. Yeah. This is nice language. <laughs> Levers and academics. academics yes. I, I was a lever <laughs> <laughs> under that terminology. <laughs> yes. It's not the uh, what what constitutes an academic eh? <laughs> exactly <laughs> he said he could be both yeah. presumably, <laughs> but they did help, yeah, and a lot of the boys yeah. I remember went to the to um woods, yeah, or the lee co- leaf mm-hmm. company or Paxman, yeah for apprenticeships. Mm-hmm. For my sins, I went a few feet, a few uh, yards down the bottom of North Hill to the Royal London. <laughs> yes, and a, a lot of people. Now, this is Mrs. Roberts, who was mm. in charge of the uh, the office. Mm. And I can't remember this lady's name. Mm. And that is Mrs. Barbara Butcher, who also worked in the office. She was married to Roy Butcher, was she? That's yeah. right. Yes. Now, this is the gardener whose name was Mr. Keyes, very ah. conscientious. He was a retired policeman. Wow. I've never seen, when I was there, the school looked nothing like this. The, mm-hmm. I can't believe the, the gardens. And this is Mr. Munson, who was a superb caretaker, very conscientious, kept the place mm-hmm. in excellent condition. Yeah. A little quote about the end of an era, mm-hmm. I guess. Yeah. Yes, there was talk at this time of joining up with St Helena. But mm. And this is Mr Sprayson, who was the headmaster, who He's built a... the school up from mm. the 1950s. When he arrived, it was a technical school. Mm. And he was one of the most dedicated, conscientious mm. me- uh, members of the teaching profession that I have ever met. Yeah. And he inspired great loyalty amongst those, mm. amongst this staff. Mm. And I suppose the film is kind of a tribute to him that they should have gone to such effort to oh, create yeah. it. Definitely. In a yeah. sense, it's it's a way of marking that, isn't it? Um, and let's talk a little bit about how the film came to be. So it was it was made for him in sixty six, sixty seven to give to him yes. as a as a leaving present. And what happened to it after that? 
Well, when he died, mm. his wife <coughs> gave it to me. She, she asked me whether I thought the school would like it. Yeah. The school didn't show much interest, so I kept it yeah. <laughs> and had copies made. Yeah. And they passed it on to the, the new Gilbert, mm. who run Gilbert Archives. And I'm really glad that it was kept. Mm. Well, it's fantastic. James Mitchell's actually uh, helped us um, yeah. to recover it, which is which is brilliant. And uh, and also, Mr. Ken Brooks, who made the film, right, had been during the war. He'd been a prisoner of war of the Japanese, right, and he had had a very difficult time. Okay, but uh, he was. Uh, so he shot it, did he? He Ken shot Brooks. the film. Yes, right. Ken okay. Brooks, yes. And, uh, and it was transferred. I mean, from the technical side. You very um, sensibly got it transferred to video, didn't you? Yes, Presumably in the 80s, 90s? Probably, yes. Maybe the 90s, yes, maybe? Probably, something like yes, that. Yes, that's right, yes. Um, and then, but at that point, we think the actual film was lost, don't we? We think the that's person right. who, who took it kept the 8mm kept the yes, film, yes, that's right. which is a shame because obviously if we had the film now, we could probably yeah. you know, get better images of it. But at the same time... It's amazing that it exists at all. Yeah. So to yeah. have, you know, even a glimpse of something going back to the 1960s is, is incredible. Yes. Uh, and then it was transferred onto DVD, of course, at that point. That's but right. some yeah. subsequent point it went onto DVD, didn't it? Yes, that's um, right. So we can see there's quite a lot of teachers on the film. But, I mean, from 66, 67, are there many teachers that are still with us? Do you know, Eddie? Oh, I was just thinking about that the other day, and I could think of six. Oh. There was Mr. Graham Lawrence, who mm -hmm. taught biology, Bob Taylor, physics, uh, Mrs. Barrett, who taught cookery, yeah. Norman yeah. Broom, who started as a teacher in 66 <laughs> and uh, taught mathematics, wow. Andy Stavell, the metalwork teacher, yeah. and... Uh, Myself. And yourself. <laughs> but, uh, yes, that's, uh, I, there may be one or two other, but uh, yeah. I can't think of any others. Well, I remember Mr. Taylor, he was still there in yeah. the 80s because he taught me. Yeah. And I yeah. knew Mrs. Barrett, I think she was still at the school while I was yeah. there. But apart from yourself, I don't remember any of the other yes. uh, names yes. there. Yes. Thank you for joining us in watching that. That was. Um, Quite an amazing glimpse back, and um, yeah, I hope you enjoy seeing it. And um, thanks again to to Eddie and also to James at the school, James Mitchell at the school, for helping us recover this and and share it with everyone.